Hi folks, I'm back again. But this time I have all the powers. No, literally I have all the power-ups now in, in the power menu set to level 1. So I've actually got all the spells and stuff. Problem is, the game only seems to bring up the little tutorial thing the first time you get the new powers as soon as you start the next level. Which I did in order to quit from that last video we did. Which means I'll probably not get any, any information as to how the power-ups work or whatever. So we get to experience and learn all about it again from scratch without instruction. Though this game's not great on instruction anyway, so who cares? So yeah, um, hit points and magic points are still level 1. Gunrod, I've gotten the shotgun form now, but I didn't have enough left over for the Gatling, so... Uh, machine gun, cannon, shotgun, they're all there. But it's the witchcraft, here it is now. Here's where the game will stand out from all the other games, where it will have all the witchcraft set across really bad menus. But don't worry about those, because we have them now, look! I have elemental shots. My ancient wall is still as bad as it was because I didn't need to put any points into that. Rose Spear, where I get to impale groups of enemies. Uh, Willpower, which is that really crap move of throwing cars around a little bit that's not very impressive. Sacrifice, you've seen that already. It's, it's so that people don't pray to me. Um, the Raven's Panic. This one sounds sort of fun. Stops enemies with a swarm of ravens. I mean, that sounds like it's useful, right? Up until the point where a lot of the enemies sort of just stand and shoot on the spot. But, you know, I'm sure it'll be fine. With all these powers, this game's going to improve massively. And I'm sure that now that I'm on the second level, we've gotten past the, the baby stage of, you know, oh, well, we give you two whole enemy types there. One of them being, like, if Professor X kind of took too much psychic fluid and not enough psychic powers and floated on the spot instead. So now we don't have to worry about that. We're going to fight new enemy types with new powers and I have a shotgun. What more could anyone ask for? 2013 AD, disaster, war, plague, and an army of evil monsters. So that's what that stuff at the, at the start was on about. Okay. You were very non-specific about that. All the catastrophes wrought by demons have reduced humanity's numbers to under one billion. Good, we finally culled the population a bit. Everyone assumes that this is the end. What, under one billion? Ah, you guys can recover from that. But there have been rumors of a black-clad woman. Yeah, yeah, you've heard rumors about me, huh? Man, most women who rumors are usually circulating about before you meet them is usually not a good thing. Also, those things are popping up as I sort of approach. I I'm not gonna lie. That's, that's, that's not really great. You maybe could have obstructed some of that. Put me, like, right in front of a boss and then try to load them in afterwards. Oh! I'm well, most of the people in this don't have the... Oh my god, it's people who are trying to actually fight. Look, they're not completely useless. Wow. Okay, they're actually impressing me now. Look at that. Look, people trying. Not just flailing around and begging, but actually trying to shoot back. Hell, I think they're actually even doing damage. Wow. Oh. Well... Professor X's ego has gotten out of control. No. Okay, there we go. Those guys didn't need to explode, honestly. They were doing okay. Well, I'm glad to see their high intelligence is really pulling through. That guy was just walking at that wall. <gasps> Cutscene. I'm in charge of these troops. I'm Maxwell Cougar. We don't see many soldiers dressed like you up here. Anyway, look, I know you're the one with the demonic. The one nice with the meet. demonic what? The demonic what? The demonic Not broomstick? Friendly, are you? Well, this place is a real disaster. Isn't yep. It? We're evacuating citizens. I'm not a mute, am I? Am I a mute? However, with all these monsters, I'm not sure we can. I don't remember them. if I spoke in the first, but no, I did. Yeah, you I did. Got some business to take care of. 
person who looks good. Ah, okay, I'm just antisocial. Good, okay. <laughs> you finally open your mouth and that's all you have Come to on, say. Come on, Cougar, you don't have any pull here. You're a tough lady, but I can't let you kill yourself. I'm assigning some guards to watch you. Jones, Nash! No, you're wasting their so, time. What's your name, anyway? Alicia. Oh, okay, I'm just I'm just willing to take expendable goons with me, alright, okay. I don't know if I like this chick at all, honestly. But, whatever, you guys are allocating peoples to me. Does anyone need any healing? Any buddy laying around demanding sacrifice? Uh, not, not quite, not quite a, a person demanding sacrifice, but alright. A couple of stray wheels, there's these stupid wheels again. And the physics don't even work with them. Neither does this. Okay. Yeah, I guess. Okay, I guess that's my witchcraft to play. I also didn't use any of those powers I hyped up at the start for that entire fight. Fantastic. Well, let's see what's on what window. Uh. Wait. Oh, the rose spears on the first page. Element shots on the second, and Raven's panic. Wait, why is the element shot on page two? I'm always using my gun. Clearly it makes sense to give me the gun stuff on the first wheel because I'll be regularly using that. This city is filled with despair. It's only a matter of time before it's destroyed. Yes, voice in my head, I know. I'm pretty sure I know anyway. <gasps> Ooh, advanced wall. Okay. The, sorry, advanced ancient wall. I'm, I don't know why I have to be specific about how ancient it is. Maybe it's to show how few seconds I'm allowed to hide behind it. Uh, we need to be careful when a geist commander gives the order to fire in volleys. Oh, well, they did actually add another enemy type. Thank goodness. Now all that shit I said at the start starting to seem real. Uh, protect yourself with ancient wall so you don't get turned into Swiss cheese. I'm not even a big fan of cheese, honestly, but alright. Oh, Rose Sphere advanced. Okay, so they're giving me advanced instructions on some of the stuff I have. I don't know why they waited till I got here to do it, but alright. If you throw the rose into the middle of a cluster of enemies, you can impale them all at once. Try to aim the rose's landing point carefully. Okay. Okay, ancient wall. And they're just shitting me from the side. I feel like this isn't very good instruction. Alright, going back to my weird diving around and shooting things, but... I should probably crouch to for maximum... Why am I getting shot? Am I getting shot from a ball? I am! It's an ambush! Wow! It's an actual coordinated ambush. And I even died. And my... Flappy... Pants are going nuts. Cool. Okay. Alright, okay. So the ancient wall advice has once again let me down. Good, well done. Um, it let me down during the first like introduction to it uh, in my first run through that didn't count. So that was good. And it's proceeding to be just as crap here. Fantastic. Alright, let's try this again. I don't want to hear your whining back there. I just got murdered by a bunch of people and the rose spear is crap. Let's see if anything good can come out of this. Are those soldiers up there to begin with or do they just spawn out of nowhere? Yeah, notice I'm not getting the uh, instructions or anything. That's a shotgun. That's the rifle. So yeah, I can actually see the bullets when I fire this cannon thing at least, although... They don't really play it the way it's supposed to, I don't think. Oh, okay. And they're just... Is, is that them or is that me? No, that's them. They're flying around an actual branded... <laughs> oh, sorry, just branded army. Non-specific army. Helicopter. Okay. Okay. Ancient wall. Wall power. Wall power can either go through the ancient wall or my range is even worse than I thought. Okay, these powers are really working out. Let's try Raven's Panic. Go on, go. 
Get him, birdie. Is that, is that working? I feel like it's, it's at least working on one of them. Maybe two? That one doesn't even have a helmet. Wow. Oh, wait. No, he does. Does he? I can't tell. No, he's just... Oh, wow. No wonder they've been giving these guys helmets. They actually look terrible without them. Are they shooting me? Oh. Hold on. Sacrifice. There you go, miss. I bled for you. My health's at crap, though, so you might want to... Never mind. I sacrifice... I sacrificed myself for the humans. I also butchered my own language in the process. Go me! So I'm losing the first ambush of the game with every power up at my disposal and a couple of people to even back me up. I should be really, really embarrassed. And you know what? I'm really not. I feel like this is a lot at once, though. I don't know if the game actually upped the difficulty or not, just because, but... How long does this last? Okay. This guy's gonna fall off a cliff, isn't he, again? Nice. Alright. Why are you casually walking the street, miss? Do you not do you not maybe have a sense of danger? Your survival instinct a little broken? It might be just a little broken. It's that's fine. I'm sure she'll figure it out. She doesn't need a babysitter. She needs a shield! Ancient wall! Uh, now I can hide behind it for a solid like three seconds and maybe get a whole kill out of it. Is that guy not firing anymore? Sir, sir, there's... Let's literally take your pick. There's so many enemies, it's ridiculous. Is that guy's trying? I feel like I'm wanting this fight more when I'm not getting directly involved. Which is really depressing. This game cares more if I'm not actually doing things than when I'm doing things. Like, if you're stalling to reload and stuff, the game seems to not care as much. Also, that plant life just popped into existence. That's kind of interesting. Do I actually lose health when I use this? Yes, I, I'm actually charged health for that. Alright. Should probably do more evasion and stuff, but I don't really feel like it, honestly. Are you an enemy, Mr. Red Guy? Yeah, you're an enemy. Stop standing around and praying to me, jeez. Those definitely feel like the humans in this game aren't too far off the mark, honestly. They would stand in the street and pray at you rather than, you know, move to safety instead. Okay. It's one of them. Where's the other guy? Oh, you're both there, okay. Wow, were we finally successful? Not entirely, no. Alright. Where even are these guys? Like I say, these guys blend in far too bloody much with their exact environments. I can't tell where they are. And this rifle's terrible. I think it mixtures between reds and blues, so I can't tell what's good and what isn't. These guys don't even light up. I don't even get a friendly marker whenever I'm possibly going to shoot someone of use to me for a change. So now I've got to figure out where these guys are just by closing the gap, because it's a little too dark, and they don't really... Do anything other than just. All right, hold on. Can I get over this wall? I'm right over this wall for a change. Rose spear is can mercilessly impale enemies hiding behind cover as well. I've tried rose spear. The emit's a bit of a bitch, and it doesn't look particularly impressive either. I'm gonna just shotgun this, or not, because I only had one of them. Unless I had both magically, upon which you know, that'd be okay. I'd be fine with that. I'm very far away, and these enemies are only popping in when I get within range. Man, this game is draw distance is one of its biggest problems. Okay. Willpower! Wow, he actually has a combat roll. Why do the enemies feel like they've got enough potential up until you actually ask them to have some AI, and then they give up? 
This rifle's pretty awful as well. There we go. Target spotted, really. Pick a direction. They're everywhere. And you don't need to run in front of a sniper. Like, you really don't. Do you have the shotgun? Okay, you look like you have the shotgun, but I have to admit, I'm not seeing you close a lot of distance with it. That was the closest I've seen you do that. Except maybe the guy in behind there who died mysteriously. I think that might have been you as well. I hope I'm giving you correct credit, though, because I would hate to be giving credit to the wrong people. Alright, there's a few guys down here by the red. I don't know what difference they make. Are you all civilians? You might all be civilians. Yeah, you are. Okay. That, that's, that's a natural walk cycle. It's, this is why people walk. Look at these people. This, this is how they get around every day. Okay, I'm going to go now and actually find the brain that's blocking most of this. Oh, hello. Hello, sir. And and other sir. Well, you moved at least in response to being shot. How about you? You gonna move in response to being shot? No, because my shots are terrible because this gun's really not impressive. You don't have it much in the way of places to run to, sir. Also, I'm a stationary target and you missed a person who just shot some sort of ex fire thing. I don't know what it was, actually. Well, it was a grenade I just seen there, I think. Was that a grenade? It was, didn't explode. You got a dud grenade. All power advanced. It is very dangerous around barricades because the geists will be working as a team. I am not sure about this, guys. I've seen them all. They mostly just fire at whatever seems to be the most active. If you stand perfectly still and reload, they seem to not care. Your existence drops off their radar very immediately. Use wall power to ram the barricade with a car and destroy it. Have you have you seen barricade in action? So what, do you want me to throw this thing down here? Have you seen the crappiness of the force of this stuff? It's terrible. And my own people keep getting in the way. Look! Look at that. He had absolutely no way of getting out of that, because I had no way to tell him, hey, there's going to be a car thrown in a moment. You might want to maybe do something about that. Nah. Nah, they're, they're, they're good. Full power, go. Man, this is the worst showing of a power-up in a game. I prefer games where I feel really powerful, not games where, oh my lord. Oh boy, this game, this game's going to be all sorts of fun, isn't it? I think I'm going to play up until I get a Gatling gun. I'm going to fire it a little bit and go, yep, that's it. So I, th I think I've, I've reached the ceiling of where I want to play this to. I mean, I could probably play the whole game, sure, but I mean, why? I mean, I can showcase how good it is up to that point and then go, yeah, you know what? If all of this appealed to you, you got a winner. Jeez Louise. Alright, we'll see if I can get back to whenever I'm at the barricade again. I spawned right in the middle of gunfire. Okay, sure. This is how fairness works. My rate of fire is not even that bad. I feel like firing faster is more useful than not. Also, these guys are just obstructions are getting in my way. I feel like this is exactly what I would have thought and told them at the time. Well, at least they're trying to use explosives and stuff. That's nice. I don't know how successful they're being, but, you know, at least they're trying. Also, this barricade's now gone. So, did it remember that I threw the car, or did we just work on it enough that no, it's not a thing anymore. I have to say I'm massively, massively impressed by the combat in this game. I mean, I've been standing back here firing this rifle with relative inaccuracy because, you know, I don't I don't really accurately aim guns in games. I'm not, I'm not, not ashamed to lie about this. This is why I'm a machine and a gun more than anything. A shotgun you get so close you can't really miss. And a machine gun, you can live by spray and pray. You don't really need to aim as such. You can just fire vaguely in that direction and you'll win. 
This game, this this caters to me. Look at this. Can can I mean I I'm no editor genius or anything, but I feel like if I could play royalty free dramatic music, that would be the moment right there. Twice. Twice I would do this. But I'm really lazy and also haven't really gotten very good with the editing software I have, so you know, you'll probably not see that. But I mean, anyone with actual ability could do that with ease. <sighs> Whew, this game is impressive. Okay, so, Barricade is already blown up. I didn't pay enough attention to realize that I was destroying it, or if it was destroying itself or what, but I don't need that car anymore, that's good. I hate to, you know, point blank throw a car at a barricade and for it to kill me or something stupid like that. That'd be that'd be embarrassing as all hell. And these power ups too. Still, why is Elephant Shot one not regularly on as like a toggle? And two, and more importantly, on page freaking two of my powers. Like you're almost always going to be using a gun. Like there's not actually too many circumstances where I can say, yeah. You know what this needs? A rose spear. This needs lightning. Well, set pieces need lightning, so you know, that may actually come up in a real moment or something, but... Civilian! Civilian, you, you really need your fight or flight senses checked. And maybe put back in, because they've clearly been removed. Ah, that rifle's awful. Also, that's a bad thing. That means there's a brain. Brain, 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 brain. This would work better if I had actual accuracy. Oh, there we go. So, is the brain just a magnet? Does it just bring metal to itself? Is it, is it actually Magneto and Professor X? Is that what's happening? I don't know. Also, have wall when I figure out what I'm doing here. Element shot. Yay, it's all glowy and fiery and stuff now. And I missed. And I missed again. And I shot him. And he's not on fire. Element shot. We might need to have a word. We might need a couple of words. Does it go away after reload? Or is it a time based thing? I don't know. I gotta say, I have a lot of questions. And I think even getting the answers wouldn't save me from the bloody questions. Where'd the other soldier go? Wasn't there two of you? See. Down and out near a car somewhere or something. I really don't see him. I had two of you. Where'd the other one go? You were both there earlier. Hmm. Well, unless the game magically gives me uh, the second person again or I see him by some chance, I, I think I'm down to one, one backup. Okay, alright, so go to an airport, sure. I think me wandering near things brings them to life, but then that means that because I'm stuck behind a wall, I can't actually help. So if people get killed, then I'm affecting my score by effectively going to the wrong place. This game punishes you for basically going to the wrong place early. Like, you know, if you have to go there later, then that's fine, but... Is this the same guy? Is this the guy from earlier? Or is this a new, new guy? Do you guys just regularly give me new people? Is that what happens? Also, that's a sniper. I'm going to counter snipe you with this rifle! Wow, that actually worked. Also, I can't help but feel that you guys are just handing me new people just when I'm not really looking or paying enough attention. And there's someone down there. But I'm afraid of jumping down here because I don't know if this game's one of those where they'll let me get back up again afterwards. I have a very strong suspicion it won't. Even though I see stairs now. Hi. Rose Spear. I missed again. Did I still kill a guy? No, but I did lock him behind a thing. Waha. Uh -huh. Now your bullets will bounce off the odd Rose Spear that lasts. At least longer than the wall does. Ravens panic! Have a whole cutscene 
so you may be stalled on the spot for a small amount of time. Well, they actually flail around a little bit. And seem to be a bit more susceptible to shots during it. Does it just make it that I can hit them a little easier? Or maybe a lot easier? They just take less bullets? So I'm, I'm afraid ravens don't really lower soldiers bullet resistance to my knowledge. Maybe they do whenever they get packed a lot or something. Lowers their guard or something, but still. I feel like the same amount of bullets should still be required to kill. Well, that was thrilling. That was, a, that was definitely the worth going down there for. There wasn't a single person. There wasn't a real point to go down there either. And more friends. Ooh, uh, Ancient Wall Advanced. More tutorial. Geist sharpshooters hardly ever miss. Did you see them grenade ears earlier? I'm not sure if they're meant to miss like that either, but here we are. When you see a red, red laser sight on you, stay calm and use Ancient Wall to hide yourself. For three seconds, I think it might be. I don't know. Can, is it, can someone clock that for me at some point? I may clock it myself if I can, but I think it's like three seconds. You can't evade a sniper's bullets with dodge actions. You mean those dodge actions I haven't bothered with because they just make me have less accuracy? Yeah, yeah, I have a feeling that's true. I put on the shotgun and an elephant shot. Yeah, no, it's wind. Boom. Yeah, feel that gust of wind? That was me. And Rose Spear. I can't throw it that far forward. Also, that's a APC. Which means I need to use lightning when I'm not dead. I'm gonna go ahead and hit this thing with lightning now. No, I'm not, because apparently I don't have enough lightning. When I respawned, they didn't give me enough power to do the set piece thing, or I wasn't in the right place. I don't know which one it is. I think it's power. I think I lack the uh, the things needed to be able to do that. So that's that's an issue. Uh, sir? Sir, the, the bullet witch is here. What about... Were you just shooting that guy? Alright, well, I mean, the other guy's also shooting that guy. I mean, let's face it. You, you might as well go for a sure thing that you're wanting against. Wow. I was hit so hard the world didn't know what to do. <laughs> Dying is surprisingly more fought and uh, often in this game than I expected, honestly. I thought this was a real mediocre shooter, but uh, it's kicking me around a little bit more than it should be. I mean, I'm not taking this massively seriously, but I feel like I should be maybe upping my game just a little. But I was right, though. There's enemy variation. The powers are all there, whatever good they're doing me. And... Um, you know, the difficulty has definitely been up a bit. You know, the kid gloves came off. Happy days. Alright, let's actually try and get through this bit now. One step forward, and then a very slow and deliberate pause. I can't do anything about this guy. Because I don't have the, like... Oh, now I do. Why do I have lightning now? Ah, uh, this game is just random with what it wants me to do. Did I have to actually kill all the people first, and then it would let me do this? Yeah, the last time you put a burning car near me, I died immediately, so I'm not too thrilled about that. Where's that guy who was downed over here? Oh good, he's just despawned. Oh, nope, there he is. I have enough magic left to do this. I now have three people following me. I don't know if that's supposed to be normal or if someone got cloned and amongst me be dying a lot. Maybe you guys gave me an extra soldier as a handicap for all my dying. That'd be kind of nice. Not very unlikely, but it'd be nice. Can I get a checkpoint now so I don't have to do set piece central again? Never mind, we got the everything. I can't do element shot or anything. I can pull up an ancient wall. Eh. You guys can't even shoot the people behind that barrier. And you're meant to know that, because you're part of this army. 
I imagine you're meant to be aware of your own powers and capabilities. Oh, there's people. Uh, oh, hold on. Ha ha! These soldiers are actually terrible. Like, every other time they've ran off and fought on their own and had nothing to do with me. This time, they've decided they're going to play nice. Wall power! The explosions in this game. They are laughable. Here, have some of my precious life that I'm losing from being, you know, stuck in a stationary position. Alright. Man. This game is just the game of kings. Is there... Is, what, what's the world record for the speed run of this? I wonder what it is. It's whenever someone just took a knife to their own veins. It's a bit dark, I'll admit, but I feel like, you know, that would definitely be how a speedrunner would get through this. Emulating the Bullet Witch a little too well. Actually, I don't know if she just reopens a, a wound in order to do the sacrifice move or not. Do I still have three people? No, I have one people. Where did the other two go? I swear I don't understand the spawning in this universe. Is that one of them down there? I think it despawns the guys and puts them back to where they, like, spawn in the map. But I'd have to go all the way back there to pick him up again and bring him here. What a weirdness, huh? I don't know. I'm not sure how this works exactly. Alright, we're at a nice uh, fork in the road. T junction of destiny and stuff. Man, I actually hit him with that shot. His rifle's ass, though. This guy does not care that that happened. Alright. Will, will I finally make this happen? Nope. Nope, I won't. Uh, I will hit something with that spear eventually. I won't care when it happens, but I will make that happen eventually. I mean, is there a need for words? Uh, right, you, you need to explain yourself, miss. Because you weren't there when we came around this corner. You just... I don't know what's going on in this game. Why do things spawn without warning? Also, yeah, I just realized the another bloody lightning thing. But it probably won't let me until I kill everything else, because I think that's how this game works. I think that's mechanically a thing. Let me guess. I can now magically use lightning. Oh, I can't. Well, you survived that just fine. I can't use anything. Why does this game make me have to use set piece things whenever it won't let me use them when I meet the set pieces? Like, that's really against the point, don't you think? I guess I don't have to go that way, you know, I, I, because I can't do anything about it. The only way to kill those things is with the thing the game explained I needed. Then took away my ability to, to use it, so I don't, know. I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Is there a brain floating around here, please? Can I, can I just shoot the Professor X with too much crack in his brain? Can we, can we kill him? Or am I going to learn that red barriers are actually very specifically just game walls and I don't actually ever get a chance to take those down? I feel like that's also a possibility. I will be a brave witch and not fight the APC with the rocket launcher. Or is it a tank? I can't tell. Ow. 
I don't know why I can't use my pyro. I don't know. There's no explanation. No reasoning. Nothing. It's just, nah. Nah, no lightning for you. Right here! And I'm even missing inaccurately behind you, which might be most of why you don't care. No, can I fire lightning? Killed all the everyone. Wow. There we go. I had to be at point blank range and gain just that teeny tiny but more uh, magic. Which I still don't understand how it dictates when that goes up or down. Is it just time based? If it is, can I be too fast between one set piece and another and I'm forced to wait? That's pretty terrible. I don't understand. I don't understand the rules of this. You bleeding on. Oh no, I just seen the helicopter. Uh, I'm just going to say army above it and drop a pile of freaking goons, isn't it? But further in the sky than last time. Okay, I might actually have gotten lucky. That might just actually be a, uh, never mind, never mind, never mind. And I don't have the power for anything but a wall. Bring on the wall of savior. Oh, good, it's gone already. Well, it might actually partially help that time. Mostly because they're shooting a downed person rather than me, because AI... Good news, sir! We won! Better news! I actually have enough magic for this. Yes, thank you for being my human shield. Speaking of human shield, where'd the other soldier go? Did he despawn, or was he just killed outright? He might have died trying to fight this bloody thing. Problem is, you can never confirm a corpse because it despawns everything that dies in this universe. Even beyond the point of you maybe having a look to see if you could have done something to save them. But it doesn't care. I feel like that might be the entire summary of this game. Doesn't care. Man, this level's a bit longer than I thought. Maybe it's the frequent deaths, and the babysitting, and the attempts at throwing rose spears that aren't working. Oh, oh good. I get to look at this crack again. Aha, that probably might have worked on something. I don't know. I couldn't see. Ravens, panic! Go! Cause massive confusion behind the barricade while I reload at point blank range to the barricade. I'm going to switch to the shotgun now and try and shoot him at point blank range. No, wait, I can finally do it! Aha! there. Okay, the fire was a nice touch. I'll give it that. It was not worth the amount of energy and effort that took, but still, I got a nice actual kill with the rose spear. I only needed him to be completely more or less immobilized. Pretty much up close and personal enough that I could have just shotgunned him instead. And even then, I think I almost missed with the bloody rose. <sighs> This game is a work of art. I don't know whose art, but it's a work of somebody's art. Yes, yes, I know. Alright, let me just deal with this. It reset me after I used the pyre. I stood back up again and was out of my aiming mode. Good to know. I'm back here again. Here comes one of my soldier buddies. I'll see you guys when I'm past this bit again. Can't shoot and dodge at the same time either. Great. Not even sideways. Okay. I 
I'm going to choose to let the AI get that kill and not the car that drove past the guy and never actually hit him. I refuse to give that car any credit for that. Ravens panic! Go, Ravens! You can do nothing in front of ravens! Most deadly foe in all of the universes. Of which I'm sure there are many, because God, I hope there isn't just this one. There's like demons and stuff, so I mean, I'm gonna have to assume that there's like, you know, other worlds or lands or something. You're on fire now, so are you. Now to save my buddy, whose name I totally know. Get up! Uh... Morris. Yeah. Don't worry, I've been paying attention to your name. I also can't reload my gun whenever it's on fire. When you use element shot, you can't actually reload. I have to actually empty my clip. And then the element goes off, and now I'm allowed to reload normally again. So, hold on, just testing. Element shot, on it goes. Fire a few shots. I can't reload with element shot again. So, I'm forced with the ammo type once I do that. Okay. That car counts as damage when it's barely even moving. What a whole load of shit. Whoa. No! You'll pay for that. Ow. He's getting all the cars from behind me, isn't he? I don't know how many ravens are going to have to panic for me to survive this one. Okay, the brain's down. I'm not even afraid of you guys. And now I understand what happened to that last barricade. The grenade of years blew it up for me. From their inaccurate shots that they seemingly can't fire past like five yards over any real distance. Good job the AI never learned to get them to tilt up slightly. Otherwise I might actually be in some sort of danger right now. This one's actually trying to close the gap. No he's not. Never mind. Okay. That's nice. Well, if you put an element shot on your gun it then has the very fun time of not being able to be reloaded you have to actually waste all the ammo before you can which is a I think a bit of a problem so yeah that's a thing and also keeps it whenever you switch them out but if you try and use element shot while you're either crouched or aiming it takes you out of both of those modes because of the weird animation you have to do but you can switch forms while doing that so, being in, you know, using the staff's not actually the problem, so I don't know. There's some really weird design decisions that were being done here. I actually got one. Will wonders ever cease? He also lights on fire now. That's just in case I didn't bother including the time when I actually succeeded the first time. I don't know. I have no idea what I'm doing anymore. I'm running out to this big open boss area. Ooh, triple barriers. That's when you know they're being serious. I think that's triple anyway. Look like it goes blue, red, and green in there? Possibly yellow? No, it looks like it made me four, actually. Wow. These guys aren't screwing around now. 
Yet they've kept a civilian in here because, you know, people are expendable in this universe. This is a really big area for... That woman couldn't have been much closer, sir, and you still missed. Also, did it reset my... No, it didn't. Okay. I'm worried it might have reset my um, element shots that's just sitting on the shotgun that... Not getting a whole lot of use, it needs to be said. Though it's definitely better than the stupid rifle. There's a crouched guy there, and you guys are still missing. Says the woman with this rifle that's not hitting at all. Even though he's trying that dead center. But it actually is a little off to the left, this, this particular rifle. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. I won! I'm sure it's going to affect my score slightly, though, because I think there was a person down next to that, but explosions in this game are awful. They might have survived that. They're very much just for fire and seemingly harming me. Yes, there was two people directly at the front of this stupid thing. And one spraying of blood per person. If any overlaps in the slightest towards anyone else, that is deemed unacceptable and does not count towards the healing process. Okay, alright, sure. Why not? Everything else in this game has made sense up to this point. Why would it uh, want to deviate now? Problem is, I don't actually know where to go now. I have to go back this way? By just saving people because I care about my high score or something? Oh yeah, I think this game actually does track high score if you have Xbox Live going, but I haven't had Xbox Live in a little while, we'll say, so. Hello, person. Yes, I know. Yes, yes, I know. Oh, hey, it's a sniper. I should use my wall. It's only with element shot am I allowed to go into my, like, super witch mode or something. Because I could aim. I was allowed to aim once upon a time. Like, with a special, like, weird sight and stuff, but apparently now I am not. I have lost the right. Oh, speaking of which, hello. You have also lost the right. The right to feel shame. So I'm just going to kill you so you're not in this game anymore. Trust me, it is a mercy. I don't know if there's like a humanitarian uh, group who can confirm that, but I feel like you should probably speak to somebody about that. That didn't even look like it did anything to the bloody wall of a million barriers. Also, why would I care? I don't want to go back the ways for any reason. Hello, gentlemen. Yeah, I'm like half dead, so I'm just going to wait. I don't know if you guys have the pathing path to come all the way up the steps just to kill me. I don't even think you'd bother even if you could. No, hold on. No, hold on. They might. No, no, never mind. Nope, they're just gonna circle around down there and try and figure it out. Okay, cool. Raven's Panic. I don't know if it's just an area of effect or what, but alright. You all lose because crows, ravens. I'm sure there's absolute differences between them, but right now I don't know and I really don't care. Caw, caw, indeed. Well, at least you guys are useful. That's one power I can be actually glad that I actually spent any sort of time or money on. Also, this feels like a real ambush area, yet there was two guys and a floating brain dude, and that's it. I would feel disappointment, but I'm, I think that emotion disappeared after episode one, so... Hello. Okay. Alright, so... 
you need to find a few more brains then, because that's obviously what they've done. They've given me this huge area. It's pretty big, I gotta admit. Like, it's pity the draw distance in this game is complete ass, and thus defeats the entire point of a big area like this. But, at least it's giving me a nice big open area I can run around that's vastly empty. And then it's going to pop in a few cars and scenery things, and then eventually it's going to even pop in an enemy or two. And if I still have my soldier boys by now, I would be very impressed if they could keep up with me, because they weren't the best at pathing and stuff. Nothing's the best at pathing and stuff, honestly, in this universe, so. Run, civilian! I'll save you! Wow, I didn't kill him in one shot. Alright, somebody needs a little bit of a pick-me-up here. Don't worry. Already bullets and explosions don't really matter a whole lot in this universe. It's only if the explosions are really huge and you happen to be pretty much setting on the vehicle at the time. Seems to be the only scenario. Wait, I could just reload that. I thought that was with the, like, wind element. I don't know. The rules in this game change every bloody minute I play. I wasn't allowed to reload earlier when I was using the element stuff. Also, that chopper's now leading people into somewhere. Can I get in here? Am I allowed in here? Is this a thing? Nope, looks like more invisible walls to me. Also, precise jumping. That's a thing this game loves. Alright, so it probably dropped off a truck ton of soldiers back the ways, and that was just it leaving. Yep. Alright, hold on. Ravens panic again, because it's the only power-up that's any good in this bloody universe. Unless its effective range is like where I'm standing rather than where I'm aiming. Which might be possible. Also, you can't shoot and dodge. Like, I feel like it's fundamentally wrong. I feel like fine accuracy should maybe go down when I'm trying to dodge while shooting or something, but I feel like I should be allowed to... Dodge and shoot. Man, this is definitely a video game. It's about the only compliment I can give it right now. What was the point? What was the point? What was the point of me going all the way down there to shoot like three guys? To come all the way back up here to take on a whole platoon? To then be stuck with nowhere to go. I don't think this game actually has objectives or like a map or anything. So I don't actually know if it shows me where I need to go. Alright, so if I was a giant floating Xavier brain. Who failed to kill a lot of humans. Where would I go? Oh wow, really? Was I actually stopped from coming down here because I blew up that thing and there was a lot of fire? I don't even want to test the fire effects, because it'll probably work against me. Not against the people, though. Not the civilians. The civilians are fine. But against me? Absolutely. Nice little saunter down here. Hello. I found one of the brains. It also just reminded me that I just went to a big open area that had absolutely no bloody point. Also being attacked. Who blew up that car? I had nothing to do with that car. Whoa. Oh, you actually have powers. Why oh, you have speed? Wow, okay. Alright. I was right, there's even more different types than that. Even better. Alright. This game's got a semblance of trying in places. It does make, like, shooting stuff in that range be an absolute bitch, but, you know. It's fine. Range shooting is definitely not a thing this game cares about. But still, I'm actually okay with this. There's different enemy types. Many more different enemy types. I didn't expect this many, honestly. I thought I was going to get, like, you know, two or three enemies for the first, like, four levels. And then it was going to change its mind after a while. But no. Hardly not. Nice shot. Well done. I had no idea that was even a thing. Becca might be really far back. 
Oh, well, you know what? That was actually a really good <laughs> That was a really good blind save. Well done. I don't appreciate being stuck back here. I really don't. So it looks like this brain thing can hold these things for an indefinite amount of time. Too bad for you, brain. This time I had an idea of what was going to happen. Okay, it's, it's an orb brain down. Ah, I suck with this rifle, but it's really the shooting in this game's pretty bad as well. Always confirmation there's no brain around this corner. Whoop. Aha! You've wasted your toy. I'll know to shoot you until you're dead. There we go. And then you'll interrupt my gaming experience to show me this, whenever you could have probably, you know, waited until afterwards. Wait, did the enemies stop completely as well and then just reset what they were doing? Oh, man. Hello. Whoa! Okay, the wall counts as being tangible for this. Alright, you know what? That's more than enough. I'm just gonna go ahead now and just say that this is probably the end of this part once I clear up this corner. Because that's more than enough footage there to throw and suffer through. I was gonna do this in two or three parts, but you know what? I think you all got the point. I'm about to be interrupted. So take care, folks. I will see you all another time. Hopefully not with this, because I don't think there's any more game here to enjoy. We'll see you then.